Welcome to Wisdom of the World. Today's story is a story from Chile, and it's about how good always overcomes evil. It is called The Seven Blind Queens, and it goes like this. Once upon a time there was a king, a long time ago in Chile. He was a very cruel king, and he enjoyed making his people suffer, hurting his people. One day, he drove to his country. He saw a beautiful young girl, and he married her. He brought her to the palace. And at first he behaved, so. But then after a while, after three, four weeks, he started to really show his true character, and he became intolerable. And because she was very close to him, she took the brunt of all his meanness. And in the end, he got so angry, he said, take her eyes out and put her in a dungeon and only feed her what bread and water. After a while, he married a second young queen. And she also lasted for about a month and then suffered the same faith. And so did five other queens. So the seven blinded queens lived all in the dungeon in the cellar. And the first one had a baby, gave birth to a baby, and sort of hid it from the other queens as much as possible, because everybody was just starving. And she took good care of the boy, and especially at night, um, she taught him whatever she knew. And the boy was clever. He understood everything immediately because he was blessed with a smart mind. Now, at some point, the boy found a key that had somehow been dropped on the floor of the dungeon. And he played with it, and he played with it in, in, in the damp wall, and he fiddled with it and actually found he made a little hole, and he saw a little light come through. So he kept doing that and he made holes so big that actually he could crawl through. And on the other end of the wall was a beautiful lush garden with lots of flowers and fruit trees. And he collected as much fruit as he could and he brought it back to his mother. And at that moment, his mother also shared the fruit with all the other queens. And the little boy became the darling of everybody. Uh, every time the boy went out, his mother was worried. He says, well, what if somebody finds him and asks him? And so she told the boy, if anybody asks you uh, about you, where you're from, etc., you tell him, my home is the world, my father is thunder, my mother is rain, and they will probably leave you alone. And so for about a year, the boy could play until finally he was caught. And he was caught and he was brought to the king. But actually he found favor with the king. The king also asked him, where are you from? And he gave him the answer, I'm from the world. My father is and my mother is rain. And the king didn't suspect anything and let the boy be. And as a matter of fact, he liked the boy so much. So he said to the palace staff, please take care, put him in nice clothes, give him a room, feed him well. So the boy played around all day in the, in the castle and um, he would feed well and in, in the evening he would bring all the leftovers back to his mother and all the other queens and fed them. Now after the seven blind uh, queens, the king had married once again but this time he'd met his match. He met a, a woman, a very cold-hearted woman, who in the end cut, you know, got him so far that he would fulfill all her demands. Now that queen also got hint of uh, that boy's existence and also wanted to see for herself whether he was as smart as everybody said. And so, she wanted to see him, saw him, and yes, he was able to answer all her questions. And 
at that moment she decided, she saw him as a threat and she decided that she wanted to kill him. And so she feigned, she pretended to be sick. And she said, what I need, she said to the king, what I need to get better is the milk of a lioness brought to me in a lion's skin by a lion. And it must be done by this boy, the little boy. And the boy, the king who did whatever the queen said, no matter whatever it was, she asked, so he did. And the boy went by his mother and his mother says, don't worry, the queen wants to get rid of you, but uh, don't worry, you'll be fine as long as you follow my instructions, do exactly what I tell you. And she said, well, go, um, go ask uh, the kitchen for some milk, for um, some bread, and also for a saucepan and a little bit of saucepan, a pan, and a little bit of salt for the seasoning. Then go travel. Travel until you come to an open field and you'll see a big cliff rising from the field and a river right there. And this is where you prepare um, a milk sop. You, you put the, 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 the bread into the milk and then um, um, put a little bit of salt, salt, salt with it and prepare it. And then you just put that there and then you hide. A lion will come out, eat it, and will ask who has made this for him. That's when you come out and say, this is what I did. And so it happened. The lion came out and saw that milk soap, licked it, liked it, ate it, and then said, who brought this here? And the boy came out of his hiding place and said, lion, sir, it is me who made this. And the lion said to the boy, how can I repay your kindness? And the boy said, well, what I need is, and he told, milk in a, a, a lion's skin carried, um, from a lion is carried in a lion's skin carried by a lion. And the lion said, well, nothing is easier than that. And so he brought a little lion cub, a baby lion who was carrying milk, and he had also a, 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 um, a lion's skin and he says, when you get to the palace, here's a wand, tap three times on the head of this little cub, and then say, go back to where you came from. And so the boy went back to the palace, and the queen was, the mean queen was sitting on the balcony and saw him coming. And she saw that he was buying everything that she asked for. She even more. Um, disliked him and decided to kill him even more. Um, so the boy tapped on the head of the lion cup, the lion cup went back, the boy put the lion skin and went in and delivered what the queen had asked for. Not long later, the king again, the queen again feigned to be sick. And this time the queen said, oh, what I can see in front of me is what would make me better is the sight of the singing castle and the dancing battlements, the fortifications around the castle. And it must be done by this boy. Well, again, the boy went to his mother and said, uh, Mom, this is what the queen wants me to do this time. The mother again said, Boy, don't worry. Just do as I said. The queen wants you to die. But Go by the gardener and borrow a donkey from him and ask his wife for a guitar, to borrow a guitar. And then travel seven hours eastwards. Then you'll come to an enchanted city and that's where the sorceress, a sorceress lives. Um, as long as you play the guitar, she will be under your spell. From then on, for the rest, you know what to do. So the boy did exactly as his mom told him. Went over to the uh, enchanted city, saw the sorceress. And the sorceress said, hey boy, can I buy that guitar from you? And the boy said, later, grandma, please just show me the sights of the town. And so the 
grandmother walked along him and said, um, he said, what is this? And he pointed to, you know, a, a beautiful little garden with a, with a piglet in it. And he, as he said, oh, that is the, uh, the soul of the new queen of your father. And then, can I now have the guitar? And the boy said, no, no, later. And they kept walking and something else came. And he says, what is that? And it was um, a beautiful fountain, golden fountain with water. And she says, well, that's the water that restores sight. You know, it gives eye back, eyes back. People can see again. Can I now have the guitar? And the boy said, later, later, later. And so they kept walking. And then they came to a beautiful place with a diamond. And on that diamond was a tiny little castle. And she, he said to her, what's that? And he says, well, that is the singing castle and the dancing battlements. Can I have the guitar now? And he says, whoa, 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 whoa. In, in a minute, yeah? And so they kept walking and then they came past an, another big garden with all kinds of candles in them, some short, some tall. And he said to her, what's that? And she said, well, those are the lives of all the uh, subjects, the people in the kingdom. And one was very big. And he says, is that one from my father? And she said, no, that is mine. Yeah. And so before she could do anything else with the point of his coat, he extinguished he f her, her candle and she fell down dead, never to rise again. And he put water, he put that blessed water that restores sight in, in, his, in, his, in, in the water bottle that he carried with him. And he put the little castle, the magic one, the singing castle into the um, banks of the, 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 um, the burro the, um, that he was riding, the donkey that he was riding. And he led the piglet past, you know, he put it on a string and he led it forward. So they walked back to the castle and again, the new mean queen saw him coming and was very, very upset because again, she knew he had done everything. And just um, as they were approaching the castle, the boy smacked down the little piglet. And that was the soul of the queen who immediately also drew her last breath and was also dead for the, for, for forever. Then the boy immediately went to the dungeon and he rest with the water he restored the sight of his mother and all the other queens so they all could see again. And then he went to his father and told them all. Now the king was delighted because first of all, this was his boy that the boy he was very fond of turned out to be his son. And also that he, uh, uh, that, that the mean queen basically had died. So, um, I think he learned his lesson. He remarried uh, the boy's mother as the queen and all the other queens were also married to people of the royal household. Um, yeah, this is, this is where my story ends and the wind takes it to the sea. So take away, ultimately, the good always overcomes evil. Thank you.